Hi everyone, so for today's tutorial, we're going to do my first CIY, which are just crochet yourself. And I really wanted to start doing this on my channel because that's why I started to crochet. I saw things in real life, you know, maybe I could make myself. So I wanted to show you guys how you can do that. If you wanted to suggest um, things for my next episode, you could go ahead and leave those suggestions in my email or in the comment section down below. But this one is an inspiration from Forever 21, as you can see in the thumbnail. And I just decided to do a mini version this one will be for leah i really like this top because it's really really beginner friendly but also it has a border that could spruce up any top so you could take the same type of border technique and put it on a bikini and it will bring it from just a plain bikini to something of just a little bit more interesting so if you'd like to learn how to make this top then keep on watching Okay, so first thing we're going to do is get your first skein of yarn. Doesn't matter how many colors you're using, but I'm personally going to use five colors. So for this halter top, we're going to start out by doing a double crochet foundation chain. And you do that by first creating your slip knot. Then you're going to insert your hook you're going to go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. Okay, so after you chain three, you're going to go ahead and yarn over. Let me do that with you. I'm going to yarn over and then I'm going to insert my hook into the first chain, this back loop, and this middle loop as well. So I'm going to go through here and then you're going to yarn over again. I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to yarn over. You're going to yarn over, pull through the first loop on your hook, yarn over again, pull through two loops, yarn over again, pull through another two loop. Okay, so this will be now your first double crochet and your second double crochet. To do the next double crochet is you're going to <laughs> to do the next double crochet you're going to yarn over insert your hook into this bottom chain that we formed yarn over again pull through those two loops yarn over pull through the first loop yarn over again pull through two loops Yarn over again, pull through the last two loops. So we're going to do, continue making our foundation double crochet until it is long enough to fit over the widest part of our chest area. So now we're going to start on the second row and we're going to start that row by chaining two then we're going to double crochet in the first double crochet stitch and this row we're going to start our decrease and we're going to decrease by double crocheting two together you can also skip a stitch but I personally prefer the two together method so sorry let me show you so you yarn over, you're going to insert your hook into the second space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Normally we'll yarn over and complete it by pulling through the next two, but instead you're going to yarn over, insert into the next double crochet space, 
pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the three loops on your hook. Okay, so after we double crochet decrease, we're going to double crochet in all the remaining double crochet stitches until you have three remaining and then I will show you what to do then. Okay, so I am in the area where I only have three double crochet spaces remaining. So we're going to double crochet decrease. And then we're going to double crochet in the last space. For the last space, I am going to change color. So I'm only going to complete half of my double crochet. So it'll look like that. And then I will grab the color that I would like to use next. Okay, so I'm going to just lay, like you'll form a little kind of loop. Lay that on top of your hook. And you're just going to pull that through. Okay, so after you double crochet in the first stitch, you're going to double crochet decrease. Then you're going to double crochet until there are three double crochets remaining. You're going to perform another double crochet decrease and then you're going to finish off by double crocheting in the last double crochet stitch and that's pretty much the pattern for this halter it's very basic the only thing is that that i'm doing is changing colors to match the color in the image But as far as this halter top, it is very, very basic and very beginner friendly. My main point of doing this top first is to just show you how you can spruce up any maybe halter or bralette pattern with just a little decorative side area. So I'm going to just do my color changes and the rest of my rows. Then I'll come back to explain to you how to do the border and the cute little fringe. So make sure you stay until the end. Okay, so I'm adding my darker blue right now and I just wanted to pop in to show you guys what I always do because it's such an easy pattern. I normally rush and when I rush, sometimes I miss my decreases. So do not rush it. Try to remember that you need to decrease at the very start and the end of each row. We're going to get into the border portion. And what happens when you get to your last row you're just going to turn your work, let me get closer, and you're going to single crochet all the way around your top. And this is a good way to help weave in your ends as you go. You could like lay that end down on that specific color that you're about to single crochet over. So once you get to the last single crochet, what I do is I go ahead and switch hooks. This is not required, but I just like doing that. Okay, so I'm actually just going to do my three and a half because I can't find my three right now. That's fine. So I'm going to start off the next row by, get closer, 
you're going to chain three actually chain four this will count as your first double crochet which is this chain three and then your chain one okay so then you're going to skip one double crochet in the next single crochet space chain one skip one double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and you're just going to continue doing that until you get back to the chain four that we did in the beginning it should look like this guys okay so now we're going to start the pico pica whatever you want to call it and the first thing that you're going to do is first chain one then you're going to single crochet in that same space slip stitch over into the chain one space chain three and then slip stitch again into that same chain one space tug a little bit and then single crochet in the double crochet stitch okay so again you're going to slip stitch into the chain one space chain three slip stitch slip stitch again and then you're going to single crochet in the double crochet stitch Okay, so you're going to continue doing that um, and then after you do that you'll just need to reattach your yarn here or when you get to the picot for right here you could just go ahead and chain any amount <laughs> I usually chain an amount that's about 20 inches long for adults and maybe about 10 for um, children but chain that amount then single crochet back into that chain go ahead and do the pie cod for the top half and then you're going to chain again single crochet going back down then you're going to fasten and cut your yarn thank you guys so much for watching Bye.